first, nearly 800 car dealerships across the country got phone calls today telling them they won't be able to sell Chryslers anymore. That bad news was delivered to three dealerships here in our area. Good evening. I'm Libby Kirsch. And I'm Michelle Kingsfield. That means more than 2,000 dealers are were spared, including Dave Dennis and Beaver Creek. Dave DeMarco is live with his reaction to the news. Dave? Well, I spoke to Dave Dennis's owner this afternoon. He tells me he certainly feels for the franchisees like the one here at Salem that got that bad news, but he believes it'll make it a stronger company overall. Dave Dennis Chrysler Jeep Dodge in Beaver Creek is one of the company's top volume dealers. But until he got the call today, Jason Dennis says he couldn't be sure whether he'd still be in business. The dealer is not one of the almost 800 losing the Chrysler name. I hope it assures customers that, I mean, we're going to be here. We're going to be here for a long time. We've been here 40 years, and we're going to move forward with Chrysler. We're going to sell as many Chrysler products as possible. Dennis says since Chrysler is making and selling fewer cars than it used to, the move to trim the number of dealers makes sense. An 85-year-old company that used to own a lot of market share has now shrunk down about 10% 10, 10 market share. Their dealer body had to shrink with it. They made the changes within bankruptcy that they felt made them a, a leaner, stronger company coming out. He calls the dealer community tight-knit, even amongst competitors. He says he feels for others who got the opposite call this morning who are now wondering about their next move. You hate to see anybody not have a livelihood, but, um, but I think the dealers that will remain will become bigger, they'll become stronger, they'll absorb the jobs that are in the marketplace. Um, and like I said, they'll become more, more competitive with, with, with other manufacturers. And I asked Dennis what he saw in Salem's future here, or what he might do if he was in their shoes. And he says they might be able to get by for a while selling used cars or perhaps, you know, repairing a lot of them at the body shop here. But in the long run, that they're really going to need to find another franchise to try to maintain their staff and that sales volume they've always had. Reporting live in Trap with Dave DeMarco, 2 News on Your Son.